Praise be to God. I am Hela Johans. I am here to praise uh, and thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, who's done a, um, a supernatural thing uh, in my family. Um, my mom, who's uh, aged seventy-six uh, years old, uh, she um, uh, fell down in the kitchen uh, four weeks back, and uh, her uh, uh, hip was broken. and um i was um, left alone i don't know what to do i was really panicked because we were staying in the second floor and um I, it was a big task for me to bring her uh, from the second floor down and we took her to the hospital and the doctors who took a x-ray and they said like it uh, is uh, totally separated the bone and, and the the ball uh, the cervix bo ball and the bone is totally separated it's broken and separated and so she has to undergo an operation and there's uh, no other go so i it was an um, unexplainable pain that she went through the whole night and i i was uh, i don't know what to do and what not to do and like i was like very panic and i was just crying and by then like i um i'm i'm so thankful to god that like uh, god has given me such a wonderful um, uh, family um, the aca church members and pastor selvia khan everyone they like uh, they were literally um, monitoring me and they were literally guiding me and they were keep on praying and they were telling me what what to do and then uh, the next day morning i happened to take her to the hospital uh, once again and um, even there like um, they said the same thing and even if she has to undergo the operation um uh, they need to check whether she is fit for the operation so that was a big task uh, the uh, so um, and i was uh, uh, financially i was in an, uh, in a great need uh, so, uh, by then okay fine and i was i decided uh, let's go for the operation so we took her uh, to the hospital so while i am on the way to the hospital uh, in the ambulance i happened to speak uh, uh, to uh, selvia khan she said she there's uh, there's nothing impossible in god's hand so she was praying and she said uh, god will really make a way and um, uh, in a, in maybe another couple uh, in a, in our time i happened to receive a call uh, from my um, management and um, uh, it he was a god sent angel i should say and he said uh, this is what the word he used he said like um, bring her back for, to the same hospital we will take care of her and we, you don't have to worry about anything just bring her back uh, and uh, i brought her back from ananagar to uh, ambatur uh, to the hospital and she was hospitalized and um, um, almost all the doctors they checked because she has to uh, she should be fit for the operation so like uh, uh, cardiologists um, and um, uh, she had an uh, issue before 8 uh, 10 years before she underwent an uh, lung angioplasty so Uh, so she, uh, she has to undergo all the tests so when they went they were took the um, test around like 11 o'clock in the night we took an uh, ct scan in the ct scan they said uh, she is not fit for the operation because uh, though uh, heart and everything was functioning her lung was not uh, um, that good and it is totally damaged it's it's only just 20% uh, of that is working and it is that the 20% is uh, it will be fine only for the survival purpose um because if she has to undergo the operation that uh, the function functioning of lung is not um, that good uh, to for her to take this uh, operation so she has to we had to arrange for the blood and everything but still there's no other option she has to undergo the operation so we just kept in prayers we just gave it in god's hand and um, uh, my family members of uh, aca church they were keep on praying and literally asking god to give her the strength and power to overcome this situation and um, the date and time was uh, fixed and she went uh, she went to the uh, operation theater uh, we were um, praying while the operation was going on and uh, the doctors were really surprised uh, why, uh, and they came out after it was it was around like 1 hour of operation and they literally had to take the bone out and they uh, kept a foreign instrument inside uh, and uh, it was a uh, um, one hour of operation so like uh, where after the operation over the doctors who came out the anesthesia everybody who came out they were surprised 
songs and uh, they said uh, your god is really great that is the word literal word what uh, the doctor used and he said your god is really great because they were monitoring um, everything while the operation was going on so mama was like uh, um, so well while the operation was going on her, ble- um, her heart pumping uh, the lung everything was functioning in a normal way so everything was fine while they doing the operation that is what the doctor said and he came out and he said the same thing like my um, your god is really great that is what he, the word he used so i should say that my god is really great and he is a god who always does the supernatural things um he um does the thing like uh, which is which is impossible he always does which is impossible and i'm so so thankful and uh, when he can do uh, such a great miracle to a uh, 76 years old uh, w- a woman he can do great things in your life um he is a god who loves you and he is just expecting you to talk to him to speak to him and to just seek him you seek him he does every he is ready to do anything and everything for you thank you so much